What if I told you that there's a way to transform your unfinished or damaged garage into a finished space that's easy on the eyes, organized, and ready for whatever you throw at it? TrustCore wall and ceiling board and TrustCore slat wall are PVC panels that install seamlessly together to add value and functionality to your space. Today, I want to show you just how simple and user-friendly these products are to install. The interior of every garage looks different. Some have bare studs, some have drywall. I'll show you how to install TrustCore on top of both. Either way, it doesn't change how quick and efficient the installation process is. To fully transform this space, we're going to install TrustCore wall and ceiling board on both the walls and the ceiling. And to complete the look, we're going to add TrustCore slat wall, which is a storage and organizational system with a variety of accessories available. Here's a pro tip, before installing any of your panels, make sure they have acclimatized to room temperature for at least 24 hours. So, always start with the ceiling first. To begin, trim out the ceiling area. Use tin snips to cut the trim for a clean, easy cut and fit. Once all your trim is installed, install your panels perpendicular to the joists. As you can see, TrustCore wall and ceiling board panels have a tongue and groove interlocking system that will make this installation quick and easy. You'll slide the tongue edge of the board into the trim, leaving the fastening side with the flange exposed. All you have to do is simply attach the panel using screws. Next, install the trim for the wall panels. You'll need to install trim in the corners of the room, the top of the wall, the base of the wall, and around any openings such as windows and doors. I'm now ready to install the wall panels. Depending on the size of your walls and the design, you may need to cut your panels to the proper length. TrustCore wall and ceiling board is easy to cut with standard tools like a circular saw to accommodate these modifications. To cut your panels, use a fine tooth blade installed in the reverse direction using a miter or circular saw to ensure you get a nice clean cut. The first panel will act as a guide for the remainder of the wall, so you're going to want to use a level for this one. Continue installing the wall and ceiling board panels until you reach the end of the area. Don't over tighten. The panels should be able to move after they're fastened, which is important to allow for any expansion or contraction. Leave a quarter inch gap at the end of each panel to allow for expansion and contraction caused by changes in temperature. In my mind, including TrustCore slat wall in your design is a no-brainer. I mean, who doesn't want extra storage space, especially in their garage? Just like the previously installed sections, you'll want to start by trimming out the area for your design. Like I mentioned, slat wall pairs seamlessly with wall and ceiling board. I've cut my TrustCore slat wall panels to the size I need to fit. Starting from the bottom, begin installing this interlocking system one piece at a time. After the final piece of slat wall has been snapped into place, Install your trim around the sides and the top to transition back to installing wall and ceiling board. Once complete, just snap in the H-channel to cover the seams and give your garage a clean and professional finish. And it's as simple as that. With minimal elbow grease and no sweat, you can transform your garage into a more functional and attractive space.